y'all. I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And I'm sorry I'm looking a hot mess, but I wasn't planning on being on camera today, but then my plans just kind of changed. And let me show you why. Okay, it has been a busy week. I've been filming like crazy. I got a bunch of Happy Planner orders in. So you can see I was doing unboxing and kind of started to organize over there. I'm trying to kind of get my life together over here, figure out what's going on. And I have an order from scrapbook.com coming in today. And I'll be honest, I was kind of feeling um, just creatively tired and thought that something that usually perks me up is kind of just working in my craft room. And so I figured I would start to clean up my craft room, which is the plan, but I want to do something else while I am cleaning up. Okay, so enter in all of these goodies. I decided that I'm going to decorate my craft room for the fall. I love decorating my house for the fall and I've never done my craft room before and I thought it would be fun because I spend so much time in here. Why not? I love the fall. Why not bring in a few touches of fall? And I figured that I would turn on my camera and show you guys what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the plan is gonna be to do a cleanup of my craft room to put away new supplies that I have acquired and then to show you guys how I plan to kind of freshen it up, change it for the fall. It's fun to change up a space that you spend so much time in and um, just keep it fresh. And so I'll take down some decorations, I'll save them for putting back up maybe in the spring and we will get going. Let's go. One is going to be to spruce up the couch a little bit where Penny hangs out during the day. Normally this is covered in a bright quilt and bright pillows that I got from the whatever craft house and those will definitely be coming back but got a few fall pieces so let's get those set up. area 
of my desk. It is bright and colorful and it's going to stay bright and colorful because that's where all the pens are. But I bought a few pieces to change it up, including the all important pumpkin candle that will live in here. And let's work to get this one set up as well. by my television. I have my photo printer that lives right here in my fake decks um, box and I have some space that I've cleared off that I can use to decorate. Let's do it! Just a couple more finishing touches. I'm going to take down my word of the year banner. I will save it, no worries. And I'm gonna replace it with a banner that matches what is over near the TV. Just got a little, little rustic feel over on this side of the room. I just added one more sign and the craft room was all freshened up and ready for the fall. It's fun to change out the decor every now and then, just a few pieces here and there to bring a different seasonal feel. Puts me in the mood for fall crafting and really makes it feel warm and cozy in my craft room. I'm always a big proponent that your space should inspire you, so I do like changing my space up from time to time to kind of reinvigorate my creative process. Most of the decor items came from Hobby Lobby and Target, so you can check out those stores and see what you have laying around your house. You might find something that when you move it into a new space really provides some new inspiration.
Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I'd also like to give a big shout out to my scrappy YouTube members. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you'd like to find out more about scrappy YouTube membership and the perks that you can receive as a scrappy YouTube member, then make sure to either click the join button or check the link in the description box. All right, I hope that you have a fabulous day and a wonderful fall. As always, keep it creative.